You are looking at Mykonos, the beautiful island in Greece, a tourist site for all across to some really fun basketball. Today is game two for USC men's basketball and Mega Mis, the professional club from Serbia, as on Wednesday, they played a very thrilling contest. The Trojans won that one 76 to 73. Game two is happening right now on NBA TV and the NBA app is the USC Trojans against Mega Mis. And we welcome you to the game here on NBA TV and the NBA app. Kevin Dan alongside Mo DeKill of Bleacher Report and The Athletic. And we should mention a proud USC alum. You can't see it right now because his name's behind <laughs> it. There it is. There's the SC poll. Fight on, Mo. How you doing? <laughs> I'm doing great. I'm sorry. I'm going total homer this broadcast. This is my <laughs> alumni. I, I love the school. I'm uh a uh, proud uh, Trojan, uh, student manager from way back in the day. So uh, I'm super excited to be on with you, Kevin, and to watch these guys take on game two in Greece. It's an all Pac-12 manager broadcast today for, for my <laughs> days as a, a manager for Trent Johnson and Johnny Dawkins. But, uh, Mo, a really thrilling win, 76-73 for USC on Wednesday. They came from behind in that game, trailed most of it. I know as a USC alum, you had to really like what you saw, especially out of Boogie Ellis and Isaiah Collier. Yeah, I mean, it was really awesome to watch. I mean, I got worried early, you know, very early on. Megan Mix went on a 11-0 run, and it looked like, I was like, wow, SC might be kind of a little rusty. But they got going in the second half. I thought they clamped down a little bit more defensively. I thought Boogie hit some big threes. I thought Isaiah did a great job getting into the paint and really attacking. So I was pretty happy and excited to watch, and it was a fun end. You know, with it coming down to the wire and, and Megan makes missing that that three towards the end uh, uh, that probably would have sent the game to overtime. Yeah. And uh, USC was able to hold on. You could see some USC fans there in attendance. That'd be a quite the fun trek to, to, to make. If you're a USC fan, go to Mykonos, watch some Trojan basketball. Not too bad. I mean, how come I didn't get to do this as a student manager? Like, what what are we talking about here? Why 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 didn't I get this opportunity? <laughs> hey, I, I know Pullman is just as scenic, right? Yeah, sure. No, Pullman's great. <laughs> Shout out to Cougs. I don't want anybody to be upset there. Yeah, yeah, yeah no. Was... Hey. <laughs> We, uh, we 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 love uh, I, I did really enjoy going to Pullman uh, and uh, you know staying in Moscow Idaho they had some great fans up there Washington State as uh, we get ready for the tip looks like it's gonna be the same starting five for head coach Andy Enfield Joshua Morgan Kobe Johnson alongside DJ Rodman and uh, Isaiah Collier and Boogie Ellis so the ball up in the air tap controlled by Mega Mish. And there, Turkish point guard Omer Khan Ilyasoglu has it. There's Malovets. The one thing I like about the Serbian squad, though, is that they do run their offense. Like, they get through every yep. option that they're looking for. Here we go deep into the post. Yeah. There's Joshua Morgan. Called there. rim protection. Big time shot blocker for the Trojans, more than two per right. game last year. Our defense was good last year. The problem was our rebounding afterwards. That was that was yeah. something to keep an eye on the rest of this uh, this game. Big shot there. And Kobe Johnson hitting the three, hit a couple of threes on Wednesday as part of that three point win. But yeah, you mentioned it. On the season, Mo, last year, the Trojans held opponents to 39% from the field. But those uh, rebounding issues, they were 11th in defensive rebounding percentage in the Pac-12. And uh, that was one reason why they only made it to the first round of the NCAA tournament, as we see an offensive foul on Isaiah good, Collier. Good call. Nice move, just a bit too aggressive from Isaiah right there. I think he's got to have a little bit of a better understanding of, you know, one to kind of pull it back a little bit on that one. See the Kobe Johnson three. But back to Collier, 20 points, four assists 
on Wednesday, the number one recruit in the country. What excites you most about what he can bring to the Trojans next season? I think the way he can dominate the game by getting into the paint. Once he gets into the paint from there, I think he does a great job of either looking for a shot or finding his teammates, creating opportunities for everybody around him. I think it's going to open up stuff like corner threes and things like that with his ability to penetrate, especially off the pick and roll. So I'm, I'm pretty pumped to see what he's going to be able to do this season as a Trojan. DJ Rodman on the spin oh, move wow. up and in. Nice <laughs> move for DJ Rodman. Of course, his father Dennis in the Hall of Fame won a couple of uh, won five NBA titles, a couple with the Pistons, three with the Bulls, two-time NBA All-Star, one of the best rebounders in the history of the NBA. Yeah, I mean legendary, and it's a nice move there from the young man along the baseline, a little acrobatic finish. Yeah, I'm pretty, pretty excited to see him. You know, once he transferred into SC, I was like, oh, wow, we actually got building quite a squad here, Kevin. Yeah, hey, that that's the guy we need to watch our words about Pullman with. DJ Prophet. Yeah, played exactly. I'm not. I... <laughs> <laughs> well, he transferred out, so I think he got it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he was a four-year Coug, and there's another three. That's Boogie Ellis. There we go. And that's what SC needs from him. They're going to need him to provide that scoring and that sort of punch right there, just off the dribble and transition. You know, that's something that they missed, unfortunately, in the tournament uh, when he had a bad shooting night. Uh, but, but he's a real important cog to the offense. Yeah, only had six points in that NCAA tournament loss to Michigan State in the 7 10 seed matchup 72 to 62 but boogie ellis i mean how much of a luxury is it for usc to have a guy who's going into his fifth year who's coming off an 18 point per game season basically 17.7 points that he decided to return and, and have one last go around with the trojans i mean it's huge when you just think about the fact that he's going to come in and sort of provide a little veteran leadership and and and, and continue to kind of help like look as awesome as Isaiah is, he's a freshman coming in. This is a new situation for him. It's it's nice to have somebody that can kind of help guide him along the process as they're going through it. And, you know, I think it's just important always having sort of that veteran presence. You know, we talk about it a ton in the NBA. It's the same thing in college. You know, when it's just yeah. an old freshman team, it's a little bit tough. When you have a, a, a couple of guys, upperclassmen in college, it sort of helps kind of set the culture and establish it for guys. Like, this is how we do things here. Yeah, he, he was a part of a great recruiting class in Memphis. James Wiseman, Precious Achua, Lester Quinones, all three of those guys in the NBA. And uh, Boogie Ellis, a part of that class. A couple of years in Memphis, now going into his third year at USC, a, a school that has certainly sent quite a lot of guys under Andy Enfield to the NBA. And they're tied for 13th among all colleges last six years in the NBA. In NBA draft selections, tied for 14th in first round selections since 2007, dating back to Swaggy P. So the USC, a great launching pad for an NBA career. Yeah, we're, 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 we're building it up. It's fun to watch the program actually kind of rise up and, and sort of kind of step into its own. Out of the timeout, Megamese still looking for their first bucket of the game. Ilya Soglu, he had 13 oh, nice points on defense. Wednesday. Man. And uh, Mo, that is what Kobe Johnson does best. Yes, yes. As it, uh, First team all defense last year, if I remember correctly, in the Pac-12. Yep. You know, just great job staying with his man right there and, and, and just giving him no passing outlet whatsoever. USC had a couple of... Uh, Pac-12 All-Defensive Team honorees with him and Joshua Morgan, number 24. Kobe Johnson on the fadeaway, looking like his brother Jalen right there. The Atlanta <laughs> Hawk. Having himself a nice little game right now. Good start to the game. Good start for the Trojans. Something different that we didn't see in, in game one. This one, they got a, they look a lot more comfortable, a lot more fluid, and, and got their legs under them, I think, a bit more, you know, this is, this is a, a great start for them. If you're Andy Enfield, you got to feel pretty pretty happy with how this thing started. You can see Evan and Isaiah Mobley sitting in the background there. Isaiah giving uh, Kobe Johnson a high five. Here's Nikola Topic. I'm going to talk a, a little bit about this guy today. 
misses the shot there. But th this is a guy to, to consider for the 2024 NBA draft as it is turned over again by Megan Yeah. Yeah. Good. SC does a good job of playing the passing lanes, jumping out in there, getting yeah. some deflections, and, and, and forcing some of these turnovers here. Kobe Johnson had four steals on Wednesday. He's already got a couple today. Boogie. Oh. A little strong Boogie. there. Too, too excited. <laughs> DJ Rodman splashes it down, and that's what he can do. He's 39% from 38% from deep last year. Yeah, I mean, sh shooting such a big thing, especially in, in, in the college game as well, you know, kind of goes something I felt like SC was sort of lacking. If Boogie wasn't hitting shots or, you know, uh, at the time we had Drew, Drew, but if he wasn't making shots, it, it, we tend to struggle offensively. Drew Peterson signed in Exhibit 10 with the Miami Heathers. Little Splavšić inside. Finally, Megami scores. It took four minutes. Here comes well, Topic like the it. other way. What I like from that from SC, though, even though they scored, they got the ball up real quickly, immediately attacked yep. after that. You know, and here again, you can see them wanting to play much faster. Just putting that pressure on the defense right there, I think, is just something that, you know, we just see right there with Boogie. I mean, it just puts them on their heels immediately. Uh, it, it's something they have in abundance with both him and Isaiah Collier now. Guys who can really bring it up the full floor, you know, at, at times USC. Uh, could be a little half-court oriented last year, but uh, the the open court seems to be something that could really favor the Trojans this coming season. Yes. So our first look at Kijani Wright and Ozias Sellers today for USC. They're on the floor. Yellis kicks it out. That three short from... The Trojans. Good defense, so good help there from DJ. Nice shot there from the young man. Uh, yeah. But this is, this is, you know, they're willing to give up those shots. Nice kick out. Rodman just a little short there. A run out for Omega Meese. Oh, Kobe Johnson getting back defensively. Bouncing it inside, flipped uh, up and out for Rodman. Last couple, of sh last couple of shots for SC have fallen a little bit short. You want it, you want to try to get a little more legs into these things here. Yeah. Plavšić fighting inside, but good work down low. And Kijani Wright in the deck. That's a McDonald's All-American right there, Kijani Wright. See if he can make a leap his sophomore year. Get some subs in for USC. Arrington Page, who is a high school teammate of Isaiah Collier. Also a freshman, checking in. Let's see the 11th year head man, Andy Enfield. He's done a great job with the program. I don't, I mean, I don't think yeah. he gets talked about much, but he's done a great job for the, the, the basketball program at SC after his run at Florida Gulf Coast. Like, he's really made it made it a very recognizable program in, in, in the country. Boogie Ellis splashing down the three. They got to come up on him, man. They can't let him just knock these, yeah. get these clean looks. You know, they got to come up on him here a little bit. That'll open up other things for the SC offense, but that's that's too easy for him. Ilya Soglu a little strong. Nice spin, oh. Boogie. Wow. Oh! That's beautiful. Right there. beautiful. What a move. Basketball. But again, they're playing so much faster than what they were last year. Like, this is just fun to watch yeah. the kind of pace which, which SC's playing. Like, I, I, I'm really excited for the stuff that they're going to be able to do in season if they keep this up. There's Nikola Topic. This guy scored 49 points in an Adidas Next Generation tournament game. He is the truth. Ellis, no. Miss there, but. Uh, 
Let's take another oh, look at this. That, that was beautiful. Beautiful footwork right there. Just the the the, the one two step right there around the defender was just beautiful. As we're coming right off the spin, you know, like that's pretty impressive. Yeah. Been quite the first quarter for Boogie Ellis. I think he's got like 10 points already. There's going to be a foul on Harrison Hornery. I mean, you got it. Yeah, you you saw it last game. How big of a difference is it for you watching the the first quarter of SC last game to the first quarter oh, so yeah. far in this one? No, a big difference. Uh, I mean, you mentioned the 11-0 run that Mega Meese went on in the first quarter. It, I mean, it. And it wasn't just that they'd gotten down a little bit early as Kobzisti misses the three and there's Plavsic inside, he'll get to the line. It just, it just didn't look good for the first eight minutes or so. And then kind of towards the end of the first quarter, Isaiah Collier kind of got things going for USC. And then they were much more positive after that. I think it was like a three or four point game at the half. It, it was close going in the fourth and they were finally able to, to crest the hill and get the win late thanks to... Uh, Isaiah Collier and Boogie Ellis combining for 45 points. But, yeah, you're right, Mo. That, that first quarter w was nothing to write home about. Yeah, and then, and then today we're seeing kind of just sort of a bit of an explosion from it, from them. You know, they're getting some – they're knocking some shots. They're playing with more pace. They're still – you know, everything you're seeing from that, this is what we want – What at least as a SC fan, you know, is, is what I'm going to want to see throughout yeah. the season. You know, is them kind of keep this up. I'm – I am worried here. I mean, they gave up another offensive rebound on this one, and then almost here on the free throw as well. This is this is still going to be something they got to make sure they do a better job on the defensive glass. Plasic going 0 for 2. You would think that, you know, with the bodies they have now, it's still a lot of youthful height. But with Joshua Morgan, Arrington Page, Joshua Morgan being the veteran, but Arrington Page, a freshman, Kajani Wright, a sophomore, who didn't play a ton his freshman year. You bring over DJ Rodman, who's six six. You got Vinci Wachukwu, who hasn't been playing on this trip, but that, that, that's a lot of size that they do have. And we did see some two big lineups on Wednesday. You think that the tools could be there to have a better defensive rebounding team this year? Yeah, I think it's just it just comes down to the principles of of making sure, hey, we get a body on a guy, we box out, we, we go after those boards. I'm gonna go through Yelovich, who had a nice game for Mega Meese, especially early Good on trouble. yesterday, but he turned yes. Turns it over. Kijani right. Nice spin. Gets to the line. Good again, just a good kick ahead pass right there from Ellis. Trying to find right early on, and then right with a nice little spin move draws the foul. Like this is again, I, I I'm sure I'm gonna be uh, driving people nuts here with it. But again, the pace, it's all about the pace yeah. for SC right now. Now, now it, it's one thing to do it in an exhibition game in Greece. And now Megamis, their Serbian professional team, AB, Adriatic League quarterfinal. So this is like a legit squad. But do you think this is something that translates to a college court? the pace i think so i think so i think it's something that they i mean they struggled a lot in the half court last year and i think this is something that they need to kind of focus on this year and i think with the guys that they have with collier with ellis i think you can really fly up the court more and be more of a transition team i think we'll we can see this sort of transition and and, and continue on when they get into the college season Kobzisti on the drive Native of Ukraine missing. I mean, Popovich couldn't tap it in. Here comes Collier. Gets it from his high school teammate, Page. Oh, try the, right. the pass to the corner. <laughs> oh, and it man. leads to an alley oop for Yelovich. Nice. I mean, that's what turnovers do, right? They open up those opportunities yep. right there. And I think that's something he's. He, he tried a little bit of a – it wasn't just a pass to the corner, but tried kind of like a really sort of side pass, tough angle in that air instance. Oziah Sellers missing, Tulpich the rebound. Well, it was a 13-0 start for USC about four minutes into the game, and they've only scored five points the last five minutes, the Trojans. So they've slowed that's, down. That's something that can happen. We've seen a ton with SC is, you know, over the years, or last season where – they do tend to go on these scoring droughts from time to time. 
nice nice lob right here way to run the floor just push you know put your head down get down the court your guard will find you the usc basketball just under a minute to go saw Jelovic there native of zagreb croatia was croatian league defensive player of the year in the 21 22 season with KK Hermes Analytica Zagreb. Hornery on the catch and shoot. There's Topic, the next generation tournament MVP. Good double. Double team. Rotate. Nice pass fake. Jelovic couldn't finish. Did That'll be. He, he, he didn't finish on it, but that pass fake to the corner got both defenders to jump that way, and it opened up the driving yeah. lane for him. That was a nice little, little move there for him. It really was nice. And again, Megamis, this is a, a, a team over the years has produced NBA players, of course. We all know about Nikola Jokic, but Timotei Luabu Cabro, Avica Zubats, Vlako Chanchar. Nikola Jovic, and that guy defending the ball right here is a future NBA player. Nikola Topic lays it up and, oh, misses. Spoke too highly of him. <laughs> he, he, he heard the praise and got too excited. <laughs> Go out of bounds. The clock uh, running a couple seconds extra, perhaps. Put it up to 4.9. One last possession here. The 13 0 start for SC over the last six minutes. It's been a 9 5 Pink Panthers. Attack another tick on there. 5.9. <laughs> Here comes Topic. Oh, push it, push Looks it. like he got tripped oh, up. Had, oh. oh. I, had, yeah, I don't know about Isaiah, that. You had Isaiah, though, man. You had Isaiah right yeah. there. You had three seconds. <laughs> oh, oh, that will do it for the first quarter. 18 to 9, SC. We'll take a break. Come on back with a second on NBA TV and the NBA app. Second quarter, 18 9. USC over Megamese, Kevin Dana alongside UCLA Bruin alum. Excuse me, I mean uh, oh, USC. Whoa. UCLA, UCLA, he bleeds blue and gold. Mode to kill. Just kidding. Wow. Oh, but. Kobe Johnson getting the line. But, uh, Mo, what did you see from your beloved Trojans in the first 10 minutes of play? I really like the fast start that we had. You know, we 13 points to start at 13 0 run really to start the game. And I think everything kind of slowed down a little bit after that. But I think the the I was very impressed by the pace with which they were playing with. And I think even on made baskets, they were still looking to run, still looking to get the ball up the court quickly. I, that that really caught my eye. That's the first thing that really stood out to me. A nice fadeaway banker. In for Kobe Johnson, who's really had a nice game offensively and defensively to start. Yeah, I mean, he knocked down a three early, couple of fadeaway buckets. I mean, strong start for him. And then, of course, defensively, what he's been doing. Malavitz nice. hitting the three off the great pass from Topic. Nice, nice action right there from the Serbian team. That little lift action off the pick and roll. It's so hard to defend. Collier's going to try a triple, and he'll splash it down. Known more for his passing than his shooting, but a good three there. There it is. I mean, they're giving it to him. I mean, they're they're hanging so far back. He's got to. He's gonna have to make those shots and be willing to take yeah. it a few more times throughout the season to, for teams to really respect him. 
There's Dotic. Rosh Plavšić inside. Going to work on Morgan, who makes it tough on him. Good, just good, solid defense. You know, nothing, nothing crazy. Not doesn't pick up a foul. Just hey, I'm gonna make you score over me, and then they finish with the rebound. Nice pass. Oh, Rodman just missing. We do have a whistle. But there's that nice court pass. vision from Isaiah Collier. Yeah, exactly. Nice pass from Isaiah. Great cut from Rodman along the from the corner. Just kind of open up that opportunity right there. Just good vision, good work as a team. And I think that's something you want to see a little bit more in the half court from this Trojans team is also some more off-ball cutting when you have a passer like Collier holding the ball. Yeah, no, that would certainly be a boon for this team. More off-ball movement in the half court as Rodman misses the first free throw. Five points, five rebounds, and a steal for him on Wednesday. Background first look at Brandon Gardner this trip, number 13 for USC. Freshman did not play on Wednesday. Offensive rebound and a wide open Kobe Johnson three. Gardner had the rebound, but had it knocked away. Bosic. Off to Ilya Soglu. Nice pocket pass. Yelovich puts it in. Nice Kobe move. Johnson on the take. Ooh. He's having he's having an unbelievable half right now. The way he's playing, he comes off that screen, being able to cross back and get right into the middle against against a big man, and then finish with a nice little floater. Just just a very impressive game so far from Kobe. Again, his. Older brother Jalen Johnson going to be in his third year at the Atlanta Hawks. And I thought, Mo, as the year went on, Jalen Johnson provided some really solid minutes for the Hawks this year. And I'm pretty bullish on his future. Yeah, I thought, you know, he he, he really kind of stepped up and, and sort of stepped into a role for the, the Hawks. And I think this is something that, you know, we'll hopefully see as that continues. You know, we'll see what it what it looks like when, you know, Quinn Snyder, the head coach, is going to have the full training camp and everything to put everything together. Here comes Yelovich, almost poked away by Gardner, and Ilya Soglu missing the three. Kobe nice inside oh. Gardner. Yeah. Kind of fumbled it. I'm going to pretend Gardner passed that. <laughs> That's 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 just great vision there. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, probably you know some nerves. He didn't play in the first game. He's a freshman. This is his first time wearing a USC uniform. I'll say this about Brandon Gardner. There was when when Plavšić put up a, a little push out a couple of possessions ago. I mean, Gardner got his head up to the rim. Like this guy, easy gets off the ground. Yeah, he, he he's definitely got the uh, the bounce ability. A little too eager there as Malovitz missed the corner three, but there's Topic. Uh, the Another rebound. offensive rebound. I mean, these, this is this is going to be the Achilles heel for the Trojans. Good double. Oh, Kobe Johnson getting the steal. Boogie Ellis to Collier. We'll that's, say those two names in conjunction a lot this year. But that's perfect USC basketball right there. You know, Boogie pushing it up the court, finds Collier in the corner, but it all starts from Kobe Johnson coming in on the double, forcing a turnover, and then from there they just push it immediately off of that. And I think that's that's what USC basketball needs to be this season. 28-16, to 16, the lead for USC, up 12 with 6.19 to go in the second quarter. Kevin Dan alongside Mo DeKeel of Bleacher Report and The Athletic, host of One Mo Thing which you can catch where Mo breaks down some film. And, and Mo, I got to ask you, as a USC alum, this is your last year in the Pac-12 before you guys make the move to the Big Ten. As an alum, as someone who worked for the men's basketball program there at USC, what do you make of this move? I mean, I'm excited. I'm a little bit sad. Some of the, the traditions that we had in the Pac-12 were a lot of fun. It was uh, always kind of exciting, you know, the, the, the battles we had with everybody. But 
I'm excited, man. Like this is big time basketball. I mean, we're going to be seeing the, you know, Ohio State's a premier program. Wisconsin's always up there. Michigan's always up there. Michigan State, like these are teams that are, you know, regulars in the NCAA tournament. And I think it's going to be up our level of competition to a degree in basketball. And I'm, I'm, I'm very excited for it. So a little bit bittersweet just leaving the Pac-12, but I think it's the right move in the long run. Certainly the right move monetarily for USC and uh, UCLA and I'm just oh, had Oregon talk and about Washington. That, Kevin. <laughs> we don't need to talk about that, Kevin. It's, ah, the, the details. <laughs> money shmoney. Yeah. So but, but I think it I think it will help though, just sort of upping the competition level. And yep. I think that's an yeah, important that- thing. There, it, it, it does suck to not get to play Arizona, who's always been up there, but it'll 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 help in the the long run. Big Ten, great basketball conference. Is Ilya Soglu has it, getting the screen from Popovich, driving nice poked away by Collier. In the Ooh. open court, deflected. It'll stay with SC. Collier had no choice there. Got a little bit too wild, though, in the transition right there from from Collier and then even on that play from from Boogie. And then that leads to a transition bucket for Megan Meeks. Popovich with the layup there to cut it to 10. There's Collier taking on Kobzisti, who uh, had no choice but to foul him. And we're going to see a lot of that this year. I think Isaiah Collier... Mo is a guy who's going to draw a lot of fouls in college basketball. Yeah, I mean, just his ability to get into the paint is is so difficult, you know, and he does a good job. You know, we haven't seen it much today, but a good job of keeping his defender on the hip when he gets it behind him and things like that. So I think that's just going to lead to a lot of opportunities, a lot of fouls, and, and gets him in the bonus quicker. Nice pass. Got to finish it, though, big man. Arrington Page couldn't throw it down. Post up Yelovich on Kobe Johnson, the premier defender for SC. Oh, nice pass Good to Popovich. Pass. He saw the double come. Good job from Popovich, kind of circle or uh, the the young man circling underneath the rim. Nice little play right there. Eight point game. Can't Boogie. get complacent right now if you're USC. Nice move. Man. Yeah, we've seen Boogie time and time again today, just whether it's in the open court or there in the half court, just this extra burst he has, uh, leaving defenders in the dust. And that'll, that'll help him. I know his goal, you know, try to get, get into the NBA next season. I mean, showing that type of st- that type of ball handling skill will help him a ton in the NBA, you know, to get drafted next season. Yeah, w- what do you think? Beyond that, what do you think he needs to show this year to NBA scouts and execs that you should put me on your roster? Yeah, I think, you know, besides the shooting, I think you want to see a little bit more of that athletic burst and and off the dribble game. You want to see a little bit more of that playmaking because that's going to be something that you're going to need more of. You know, you put the ball in his hands, you're going to want to see that. And I think that's what NBA teams are hoping we're going to see this season. Offensive foul on Isaiah Collier. Popovich taking the charge. I thought he might have avoided it, but I'm also wearing USC yeah. colors today. So, uh. <laughs> oh, we, we couldn't tell you're rooting for USC, Mo. No, no, I've done a good job being <laughs> completely unbiased. <sighs> Isaiah Sellers picking up full court. Celia Soglu. Kobe, another deflection. Might have jammed his finger. But even then, right, so he jams his finger. Hopefully it's just a jammed finger. But, you know, he, he, he does a good job even on that play. After that, jumping back into the passing lane and showing big, yeah. forcing a, a, a more difficult pass that leads to a turnover. Uh, he's got to be on the short list for Pac-12 Defensive Player of the Year this year, Mo. Uh, it's just well, everything he does on the defensive end. 
I mean, he has a legitimate shot at winning that. I mean, that's a that's right yeah. up. That should be his goal this season. Yeah. Off a of screen, Boogie. There's Kobe. Almost had it rip, oh. and oh, gets blocked by Kobe Zisti. And Gotta that's a off. shot clock violation. Too late, unfortunately, for Sellers. A little bit slow with sort of just running that half-court action right there, and I think they kind of just got to a slow, and then once it ended up at the top of the key with Kobe's hands, it, it, it sort of just stopped. And I think that's something, again, SC in the half-court's got to stay away from. Ilya Sogu. And go inside to Yelovich. Nice shot fake. Oh, good pass inside. Plavsic and movement. one. Great ball movement. Just to get the ball in the post, you're getting kick it out to the opposite uh, above the break, get the attack on the drive right there, find the big man in the dunker spot. Like, that's just great basketball there and, and, and just solid movement. And they've crawled right back into this game. You know, I think as they've done a great job slowing SC down getting them to play a little bit more in the half court. And now it's now we're looking at possibly a five-point game. Rosh Plavšić, the former Tennessee volunteer, four years there after a redshirt year at ASU, Arizona State, had 23 points on Wednesday. He was getting busy. Played in summer league with the Hawks. But free throw shooting, not his strong suit. Arrington Page trying to go coast to coast. It's yeah. the deck. Good hustle. Not a big fan of that there. Find <laughs> your guard. Let's get going. Yeah. Get into yeah. Offense. Yeah. Klavšić, no. He'll get back to the line. Like, I, I will say, Arrington Page has a nice handle, but when you have better options, give it to those better options. And that's something, you know, a young man will learn and as, as he gets going there and, and so on. Eventually, maybe that's something that will be in his game. But right now, I think you want to kind of settle down here. This feels a lot like game one, but just sort of flipped around. Yeah. No, you're exactly right, Mo. Megan Meese, that got out to the double-digit lead early. And USC steadily climbed back in, eventually winning 76-73. Uh, the scoring pace has uh, slowed down a little bit in this one today. Vlasic goes two for two. And here's Boogie Ellis. Stepping back for a three, missed everything. Yeah, that's, again, another tough possession, though, for SC. The ball stays largely around the three-point line. Not a lot yeah. of sort of penetrate. Like, I think that's the stuff that you miss when the ball's not in Collier's hands. I think his ability to get into the paint kind of opens up other things. But with him on the bench, I want to see Boogie attack a little bit more and just not be so reliant on just, uh, I got a shot I can pull up now. Oh, you're so glue, short on the three. Hornery, a nice rebound. Native of Australia. See a strong finish here for Messi. Ellis. Johnson. Oh, off the sidestep. No. Uh, tapped tough, up. Tough, not quite. Tough floater to try to get off, but still. Yeah. You know, but again, getting into the paint there. But Mega Beast has done a good job. They slowed down the transition. They've even as SC pushes the pace. Big dunk right there. And a tip well, jam for Plavsic. Chance to tie it up or take the lead here. Yeah, I, I, I'm not too thrilled about this here, Kevin. <laughs> it's all riding on the line in Mykonos. Pull up for Topic. No good. Oh, nice Out kick ahead. ahead. Nice play right there. That's beautiful and one. basketball right there. Oh, Zaya Sellers with the bucket and the bump. 
Big play right there. Just, you know, the kick ahead and then Sellers continuing to run right there. Just sort of nice little sort of drop-off situation. Nice play. Big, big nice Sellers that. scored. Couple of points on Wednesday. Didn't play a ton last year. Did have 17 in a close scrimmage against LMU in the preseason last year. Went to SoCal Academy alongside Vinci with Chukwu. So he can place a three-point play. See a strong finish to the half here. Let's go, SC. Come on. Come on, fellas. Bump the lead up to five. Collier back in the game. He's guarding Topic. It's the screen, goes nice to the hoop, and Topic. lays it in. Nice move from Topic. Just lost Collier this kid's in, nice. in, in that play. This kid is nice. Collier, a deep three. Hit his first one. Ball staying largely on the perimeter again. Let's got to get into the paint yeah. here a little bit more. There's Topic trying to Chris Paul, Kobe Johnson there. Didn't get the foul call. There's Kobe. Lost the handle. Yeah, too, too, get a little bit too sloppy. And they've made them pay every time the they've up. Every time they've turned the ball over. Megan Meese has been able to get out in transition and has made them pay each time. That was Petr Kovacevic with the lip, native of Montenegro. And Fowler timeout. Looks like there's some confusion. I think this is more of a situation of the FIBA rules versus the NCAA yeah. rules in terms of who can call timeouts and whatnot, I think is what kind of led to that a little bit. Yeah, I, if I remember correctly, you can't call timeout in a live ball situation. The ball has to be dead, which is I, either after – and in FIBA, that's after a made shot – or when the ball goes out of bounds, something. But you can't bring the ball up and call timeout, I think. It look, yes, I, I, I'm with you on that. I think that's the correct rule. And I, it looks like somebody at Megami's picked up a technical here. Uh, yeah. Kobe Johnson hits the technical free throw. He's got two of them. So... So, Collier must have gotten fouled. Right. It looked like it was either a foul or a timeout. Well, I think it, it might have been, been a foul. I think it was a foul, but I think it was. I think SC was trying to get a timeout, which is what kind of led to a lot gotcha. of confusion. There you go. Yeah, that, that sounds like a, a pretty good summation. No, it's probably. This is why right I got on. that USC education, Kevin. This is why hey. you, this is why you go to USC. <laughs> hey, half of this broadcast uh, crew got into USC. Half of this broadcast crew got rejected twice by USC for undergrad and grad school. Just saying. I, I don't know how to respond to that, but I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I I, I I I was big on USC as, as a kid. Uh, not, not as smart as Mo Nice, Nice kick to the corner. Oh, Kozisti oh, gets it to go. And will USC get a heave up? Yeah, right. but it won't hit the hoop. So, 20 minutes down, 20 to go. Close game. USC up 33-32 on Mega Mies. We'll take a break. Come back some interviews at the half here on NBA TV and the NBA app. 
you know, too many second chance, too many second chance opportunities for Megan Beast. Second half is underway. Nice pass by Tolpich inside, looking for Plopsic, but he couldn't hit. There's Boogie Ellis trying to get out and run. A good idea trying to thread the needle. It's a tough. That's a tough pass to force, I think, and yeah. I'm not sure if that's yeah, you're right. Back. Right idea, but it's still like the angle of it. The defender is always going to have the advantage on that one. Yeah, that was Joshua Morgan there. Nice play. Kobe to the line. Kobe continuing to have a strong, you know, continuing off of what he had in the first half. I thought he was great for the most part, and I think, you know, just starting off where he left off. He had four steals go along with 11 points on Wednesday. Pac-12 all-defensive team. 73 steals last year. 72 steals, I should say. Tied for third all-time in a single season at SC. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's going to have a big chance at Defensive Player of the Year for the Pac-12. Yep. Topic getting the screen. I love Topic's patience off of the yes. screen. So. You know, it never really seems to be in a rush. That's well said. Kovzisti fouled as the shot clock expires. Kevin, I don't know if that's a foul. I, I think that's a little bit, a little, little home cooking there for the European team. Come on, Mr. Uh, official. <laughs> you, you, you may, may be seen through some cardinal and gold glasses on uh, one I, end here. The, the... I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let, let me ask you this. So with, with all the uh, USC players in the NBA, wh which, which former Trojan are you most excited to watch next year in the NBA? I think it's an easy answer, and it's Evan Mobley. I think trying yeah. to, I think this is an opportunity for him to kind of have that big leap. You know, a third-year guy, I think, you know, they made a run in the playoffs last year. I think they got a little bit more experience there. I want to see him take kind of a big step forward. Probably show and flash a little bit more of an offensive game. I want to see some more, you know, I'd like to see Cleveland themselves put the ball in his hands at the high post, and let's see if he can kind of, facilitate some offense for them and kind of alleviate the pressure off those guys. But that's that's the guy I'm most excited for for USC, and I think that's a pretty common answer across the board. Yeah. Uh, All-defensive team member last year. Had an all-rookie campaign the year before. And Boogie Ellis. Nice play shot fake. fake. Yeah. You got to get – once he got his man off the dribble and he takes that one dribble, that's a pull-up. But I understand yep. being a little bit unselfish there and, and creating the opportunity, but you got to understand the clock that's going on and you got to have that in your head there. That that needed to be a pull-up off the off the pump fake. It's Andrea Yelovich backing down on Rodman, fading away, in and out. Plavšić trying to power up and he gets fouled. Again, another offensive rebound there. They do a good job with the initial defense. Rodman does a good yeah. job playing solid defense, makes his man try to score over him, but they can't finish the possession without that, that rebound there. A couple of free throws. Try to give Mega Meese the lead. Plosic, who was 47% from the line at Tennessee, misses there. Gets that one, and Megamese is in front. This is their first lead of the game, I believe, right? Uh, I would, yeah, I was just about to say, I'm pretty sure this is their, because they got down 13 nothing. I don't remember them right. coming back to take the lead in the first half, so 36-35, their first edge. Klausic, good ball movement. Good, good Kopich. ball movement, and, yeah, and the defense kind of chasing there a little bit in transition. Wasn't in love with that shot from Boogie either at the okay. uh, last possession there. I try to get a little bit more. Let's try to get into the paint here a little bit. Let's try to attack a little bit more. Nice block there. Good defense. Push here now. Push Morgan. it. Push it. Ramen. Dribbles into a three. Kobzisti. Puts it up and in, no foul either way, but it looks like Rodman 
slow to get right. up. Took, took a little bit shot there when he's trying to draw the charge there. What do you think of the pull-up and transition on the other end? Oh, that wasn't easy. Good one either. It wasn't just a pull-up, but it was kind of like a little bit into a step back. And I just don't think that's something. You know, I know he can shoot it. I know he's got that in his bag. But the defense got set. Megan, again, doing a good job with their transition defense getting back. Once, once that opportunity is gone and you've lost that advantage, get it into one of your guards and let's run offense. And I think that's something yeah. there I felt like was more a uh, I want to get a shot off opportunity than a uh, looking for good basketball. Sounds about right. And hopefully DJ's okay. Looked like he was kind of holding his lower back. It's never fun. No, I mean those he took I mean he tried to take the charge there. It's just a tough tough break there. Good attack Johnson. on the closeout from Kobe. Good attacking on the closeout. Good pass to the corner. Creates the opportunity for him to attack the closeout right there. Got us a one-point game again. Tolpic. A wrestling match down there. Yeah. <laughs> and that freed up a lane for Kobzisti to cut and finish with the left hand. Collier pushing now. There we go. But he draws see, another foul. Even off the make, right? Look how quickly they got the ball up the court. When they do that, they're a different team. Yep. You know, it, it gets them in the bonus earlier if they're going to draw fouls. Opens up opportunities. Here's the attack on the closeout. Good work there from Kobe. Well, we talk so much about his defense, but Kobe Johnson is a guy who did average more than nine points per game last year. He scored 21 against Washington in a game. Uh, I mean, I don't think it's a stretch to say this guy could very easily be a double-figure scorer for the Trojans next year. Well, I mean, he's shown a lot in this game. I mean, he started the game with a three-pointer on the, the sideline. He's shown some fadeaway stuff, and the attacking to the closeout. He looks very comfortable, even on that shot that he missed there. He looks very comfortable and confident in taking these shots. Good defense from Boogie right there on the front. But, like, yeah. it, it might be a sign of this is some stuff that he's worked on in the offseason that he's ready to bring to, to fruition here. And, again, just adding another offensive valve for him would be a, uh, a, a, a option for USC. It would be huge for the team. There's Kobzisti. Going to Plavšić. The banger down low. Draws the foul on Joshua Morgan. Yeah, they're, they're, they're slowing this game down, and they're going to throw it into the post, and let's see if SC's big guys can handle it. Yeah. And this is kind of more what – not all of European professional basketball is known for, but a good chunk of it, more played in the half court, more sets. Jelovic on the take. Good help. Good job on the boards right there. Now you're running again. That's a good, that's a shot I'm good with. Even if he that missed it, good. that's a shot I'm good with. It was open. It was there, just didn't drop. In, trans in transition, it was created. It was a spot-up opportunity for him. The defense was, was pulling into the paint right there. That's a good look. You know, just want, I'd like that to drop. That's all. Are you so glue? Johnson fighting over the screen. Sellers who just missed the three, guarding the ball, handling Miljenovic. They're lost. They, oh. yeah. they got mixed up defensively. You could see it. You had two Trojans guarding up top on the perimeter and leaving big man open underneath the rim. Sloppy Klausic. start. Sloppy. It's a 10-4 start for Megam East this half. Sellers. No. I believe him. Let's see who this is going on. I think it might be uh, someone fouling Morgan on the box out. Yeah, I, th I thought they held him down pretty good when he tried to go yeah. for the box out. But yeah, as he gets mixed up in their coverage is there, and that, that leads to the open dunk. So here's Ellis. Gets it back from Kajani Wright.
Kobe Johnson on the pull up. They go inside to Plavšić, draws another they foul. Just, they 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 found the they found the formula there. Mega missed it as with how they're doing it. Just hey, let's get the ball in the paint over and over again. Let's get it in the post. They get into the line a bunch. Uh, I, I imagine they're already in, SC's already in the penalty. Yeah. So every foul is going to lead to to them going to the free throw line. Like that's how you extend your leads. Forty-two to thirty-seven. Five twenty-one to go in the third quarter. Uh, USC trailing by five. Kevin Dan and Mo to kill with you here. Uh, un unfortunately, no Bronny James. We all know about the, the the cardiac arrest. Thankfully, he's okay. But if he is able to come back this year, and of course that that is still to be decided, that, that would certainly add a, another element to to what this USC team can be. A, a, a team that looks to have a, a promising season ahead of them in twenty three twenty four. Yeah, I mean, you know. First, thankfully, he's okay, and if he is able to make a return this season, I think he's just another guy off the bench that can kind of push the pace, keep him kind of flying up and down the court. I think some more playmaking as well on top of that. I, I think that's an important aspect of that, and you can kind of stagger him with, with Collier, with Boogie. I think you kind of have that sort of three-guard combo that you can always have two of those guys on the court at the same time. And I think that's a, a nice boost for their offense and that if Kobe Johnson's offensive game continues to progress, I think you're you're looking at some solid backcourt right there. Mo, this is a team in USC that has had sustained success in the regular season under An in Andy Enfield. And yeah, they had the Elite Eight run in 2021. Outside of that, a lot of early exits in the NCAA tournament. You believe this team is better positioned for a deeper run into March this year? I think they are. I think he's, we're seeing stuff with them defensively. I think we're seeing things with their, their offense where it's looking really strong. I, there's still some stuff. It's early, guys. It's August, too. We also have to remember. Yeah. <laughs> still a long way to go for the, the season itself. you know. But I think this is a, a good opportunity for them to kind of get an idea of what they need to work on leading up to the their first game in November. So I think this is a, a team that I think can, can go on a bit of a run. And then when you have a guy like Isaiah – who can really get into the paint and really attack and sort of be explosive. I think that opens up a lot of other things for your, the rest of the team. So I think this, this might be the year we might see another, uh, 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 a bit of a better run for SC in the uh, NCAA tournament. And the season starts for SC November 6th against Kansas State in Las Vegas in the Hall of Fame game. Kansas State, of course, getting to the Elite Eight last year, narrowly losing in the regional finals to Florida Atlantic. Kajani Wright flips it up and he'll get to the stripe nice nice action out of the timeout let's get something going towards the basket there good call from coach Anfield and in, in getting them moving here and getting them into a set yeah as an alum as someone who's watched USC basketball quite a bit what is it that you've liked the most about what Andy Enfield has has been able to do with this USC program a program that hasn't always had a ton of sustained regular season success 20 NCAA tournaments but now they're starting to rack up those NCAA tournaments year after year after year yeah I think it's just sustained at least success I mean making it to the tournament a couple of times in a row is 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 really important that helps with the recruiting and things like that we've had a lot of like false starts at SC and I think it's important that we we kind of get these opportunities you know and I think with what he's done it sort of brought a lot of stability to the program and from that has led to postseason runs and hopefully we can have a a couple deeper ones coming here pretty soon led USC to 22 wins last year he is 205 and 128 at USC. That includes a couple of uh, rebuilding years to start where they finished last uh, or near the bottom of the, the pack in the conference kind of skews his record as we have a foul and I believe the unsportsmanlike signal was just given yeah it, it was it was a pretty uh, uh, hefty challenge we should say um, yeah <laughs> on, on that on that foul and I, I, I you know they, 
get, it might get a little bit chippy here, but I think that's kind of what's happening right now. I think the uh, SC big guys are, are are feeling the pressure here a little bit as the ball keeps going in the post over and over again. Yeah. And they, we haven't we haven't had an answer yet. We haven't been able to stop it. So with the unsportsmanlike foul, and you see a referee kind of put up an X where he's grabbing one of his wrists, he or she grabbing one of their wrists. It's uh, two free throws and the basketball. Klopsic starting to get into a groove a little bit at the line. He's, he's been there so often the today. Yeah, I mean, he's put a yeah. stamp on the game. It's just constantly pounding the ball into the post there, and I think that's something that's that's got to be a little bit concerning for SC. Klopsic again. He travels there this time. Go. And it's funny because they went away from just post straight up post up for him. They went to a pick and roll, you know, situation. Yeah. And I, I, I think they went a little bit away from what works. I don't mind it. Just keep doing that and keep the ball out of the post. <laughs> but, uh, you know, like I think that's an important thing. Uh, I think that's something to keep an eye on, though, Kevin, as we go through yeah. what does Megan Meese does offensively. Arrington Page will throw it in to his high school buddy, Isaiah Collier. Both played at Wheeler High School in Atlanta. There's Collier. Going to work on Popovich. Okay. Nice kick out. And Boogie not Ellis pays that, it off. Not just a nice kick out, but a good job from Boogie Ellis and kind of rotating along the three-point line to give yep. him that passing out. Load. Let's go, I see. Let's, let's wake up here a little bit. Another stop. Now, stop. now push it. Boogie's pushing. Arrington Page there from downtown. There we Six go. 11 freshman. Here. here we go. Let's get a little. Let's get a little action going now. It's a one-point game, just like that. Boogie Ellis and Arrington Page. Kevin, that should be a four-pointer. The net was circled around it. That that should count for it. He, he he fixed the net with that three. That should be worth four points. I'm 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 giving him four. <laughs> so it should be a tie game right now, Mo. Yeah, yeah, no, it's tied in my mind. <laughs> I, I'm telling with, you, I'm not biased at all. <laughs> no, not not at all. With, with former USC men's basketball manager uh, Mo DeKeel, now of uh, Bleacher Report and the Athletic fame. Mo, wh what was your favorite memory, your favorite game that that you think back to as your time as a USC manager? Well, when I was a manager, we were still at the sports arena, and I don't even know if you were. Ah, yes. <laughs> so I'm... we had a lot of stuff there, but it was senior night, and it. Desmond Farmer, who's on the staff for Andy Enfield as an assistant yeah. coach, it was senior night for him, and he always wore these yellow headbands. And we were, I think it was playing Arizona, and everybody rocked a, a headband, like the whole team. The, we had it on the seats for the fans. Like the whole place was going nuts. And I, if I remember correctly, Des dropped 40 that game. We won and we upset Arizona. But it was an unbelievable uh, experience. It was fun to watch the the – the crowd and everybody get into it for for Man. him and, and and stuff it was a fun night i remember that one very vividly that's that's awesome i, I remember desmond farmer at the end of his career played for the reno bighorns and was it was a killer in the g league I, I remember watching him up close and personal uh, with the bighorns and then yeah made the move from sports arena to galen center in the 2006-07 season and Mo, I, I absolutely love the Galen Center. I, I think it is just a, a great A place to play some basketball and watch basketball. It's a beautiful venue. It's perfect. It's, it's a great college basketball venue. And hopefully we can kind of get it, get it going, and, and, and it's a lot of fun when everybody's into it. Popovich gives that one off. Kovacevic blocked by Page. There we go. The defense, the energy has all picked up in the last two minutes. Collier in and out. Good shot, though. Johnny Wright keeps it alive. Page banging, puts it up. Well defended. And looks like it's going to stay here. That entire possession for SC is outstanding, even though they didn't score, right? Like, that's probably the best possession you could have without scoring. Pushing the ball in transition. Multiple efforts on the offensive glass. They're doing a great job sort of battling right here, like, the energy has picked up in the last minute with this SC team. 
Ellis, nice, nice bounce pass. pass inside. Oh, Kajani Wright can't finish. Wright's got to go up to dunk that. He can't go up to lay that up. Yeah. That needs to be a dunk at the very least, get to the free throw line. Oh, thrown away. A little, little bit of a Mies. miscommunication there. I think, you know, he thought he was staying in the corner. The guy was cutting along the yeah. baseline. A little, little bit of a miscommunication. But another oh, opportunity for SC right now. They have been able to turn over Mega Meese a good bit, especially in the first quarter. Enfield calling out the play. There's Morgan nice back door going cut. back door. And Boogie Ellis will get to the line and a hard Ooh. fall. He's okay. Right, bounce back. That's a backdoor oh, play by design right there. That was one I think that it, it, Coach Enfield called from the, the sideline there, and that was just an immediate backdoor. Nice, nice little action right there, and it gets Boogie to the line. A chance to reclaim the edge there on a little 6-0 burst right here, USC, with threes from Ellis and Page. Boogie, 25 points on Wednesday. He was 10 of 18 from the field and 3 of 7 from downtown as he just tied the game up. Or in Moe's book, it should be 46-45 because that Arrington Page 3 should have been worth 4. I mean, yeah. I mean, it's no no brainer. <laughs> it's, you know, I, I think it was just. I think that should just be a rule. It should only count for SC, not, not for Megan Meese. <laughs> <laughs> uh, of course, of course. Not by and definitely not for all. UCLA. <laughs> Why are you bringing them up, Kevin? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Here's Topic. Nearly oh. stolen by Robin. So and he close. The foul. So close. Almost had it. If, They're in the bonus, Mega Me, so I'm be free throws. And that's and that's the product of having pounded the ball inside over and over again to start this third quarter and having a big man that could draw those fouls, that led to them now. Every opportunity is going to put them on the line. So I think this is being called unsportsmanlike because Miljenovic had a clean path to the hoop. And, like, I, I mean, it's, it's not like a flagrant foul, but even though it was, like, 15 feet away, he still, like, could have gone for a layup. I think that's why they're was, calling it. I think it was more – it wasn't really – he tried to get the steal, didn't get it, and then grabbed him. And that's that what, yeah. that's what leads to the unsportsmanlike calls in in, in FIBA. Is It's so yeah. much as it's just not – you're not going for the ball, which is something yeah. I actually agree with on that. There oh, we go. For Page! Go. That's that Wheeler high connection. Collier to Arrington Page. <laughs> Got, again, get a stop. Run in transition. This team is going to be at their best when they push the ball and run. And now that's an opportunity to, to get going here a little bit. Whew. I mean, is this like a 10-1 run? Is that what we're looking at right now? Something like that? Yeah, that's, that's exactly what we're looking at. It was 45-38 Mega. Get that Hopefully rebound. Missing. Now, look, if you try to find him. Find an opportunity here. Good job for Mega Meese with transition defense, except it's a clean look. Can't be mad at that one. Yeah. Harrison Hornery has been a 39% three-point shooter over the course of uh, his career in limited attempts. I want to get it inside to Plavšić again. USC defends it well. Instead, it's a Yelovich three, which is an air ball. Plavšić short. Oh. That's got to be a foul. Big collision. Layup missed. Plavšić cleans it up. The continuing problems for SC, that's always going to be an issue. they got to do a better yeah. job locking down the defensive glass. Oh, oh wow. Collier behind the oh. back. Put some sauce on it. And that's why he was the number one recruit coming out of high school, though. That ability, that yeah. ball handling right there, the smoothness with all of that is what's going to get is, – is the reason why SC fans are really excited about him coming from Georgia. Offensive foul. Slick. Very slick. 
Collier, the number one recruit, the uh, Naismith Boys High School Player of the Year. On the girls' side, Juju Watkins, the, the Naismith Girls High School Basketball Player of the Year, also going to USC. First time in history that the top two, uh, the, the, the Naismith winners on the boys' and girls' side, going to the same university. That, that, we just make history wherever we go, Kevin. That's what I see does. <laughs> Uh, Juju Watkins is going to be a lot of fun to watch for Lindsey Gottlieb this next year. And Coach Gottlieb has done a great job with, with the team and the, the, the women's program there at SC. Uh, got a win over Stanford this year. I did that game. Yep. Popovich a little strong. Collier Big fading away. Oh, iron. Iron, iron on time. I want to see him finish with the left on that one a little bit more. But you see the thing. He sees the lane that's open, and then he's able to kind of squeeze through it. There's Nikola Topic with it. Shot clock off for Mega Mies. Or not off, but close to it. The got, runner missed. Collier beats the buzzer. Will the tip jam Kobe, count? Kobe's, Kobe's, count Kobe's. Count it. Scoreboard still scoring 50 to 48. We got to take a break. We'll let you know if it does count on the other side. Right now, a two-point lead for SC over Megan East on NBA TV and the NBA app. That might be in your official scorebook, but in my official scorebook, <laughs> it did count. It's now 53-48 by my score. <laughs> <laughs> you know what we need to see? Is a, is a USC men's basketball game refed by Mo DeKeel. Uh, that, that would be fun for at least one sideline. One team Maybe would not have the a whole one. lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> nice now it's 53-48. Right there. there we go. Nice start, though, from the Trojans coming out of the fourth quarter. Quick little action. Bring Boogie up right there into an easy three. It's part of a 15 to three extended run and another steal for Kobe Johnson. Ellis thought about it. Good defense. Well though. defended. Kajani Wright fouled on the floor. Yeah. Quick, quick correction, by the way. It was against UCLA, the Desmond Farmer Senior Night game. Ah. Uh, shout out to my <laughs> man. Shout out to my man Tim Farmer, who who was our director of ops at the time. Uh, uh, just just texted me, going, <laughs> who's, who's enjoying the game, and, and and corrected me. Thank you, Tim. Nice drive there from Isaiah. Oh. Seven point lead for USC. They really turned things around. Latter stages of the third, early into the fourth. Plavsic and one, count it. He's he's been a, he's been a challenge for SC with the way he's defending, or the way he's going offensively. If you're Mega Miss, every possession has to go through him right now. Well, we were talking about me with Mishko Rajnatovic, the agent for Nikola Jokic, and the president of Mega Miss. He said only one guy above 22 on Mega Miss. It's that guy, Plavsic, and it's shown. Ellis oh. trying to boogie his way around a defender. Didn't work <laughs> out. Uh. <laughs> Leads to a jam for Yelovich. Mega Meese within three. I think that can tend to happen with Boogie a little bit is sometimes he tries to over penetrate and over dribble, and that puts him in a little bit of a bad spot there. But that's also why you gotta see for him to get drafted next season, he does need to tighten up his handles a little bit more. Yeah. Foul inside, going to be called on Topic, grappling with the big fella, Kajani Wright. Uh, Kajani Wright, that first 96 seconds of the fourth quarter, drew two fouls. So that, that, that'll help the team get into the bonus a little sooner, perhaps. Collier. Top recruit in the land. 
settling in the mid range. Yeah, not not want to see him attack. That might have been up against the shot clock though, but I want to yeah. see him attack a little bit more aggressively. Topic gets defense. ripped. Kobe the other way. That needs They're gonna to call be that a, on the floor. But that needs to be intentional right there. That's the, the typical take foul that that yeah the Euro League has gotten away with. But there was no I, play I'm on with the ball. You. that one. That one, I, I I think the refs, if they're going to call the one earlier on, I think it was Rodman, they got to call that one. I agree they're with not you. Biased, not biased at all. <laughs> no, but, but I, I think, like, unbiased opinion, I, I think that that's a uh, – we would call it a take foul in the NBA. That yeah. That's on sportsmen, like, from FIBA standards. We got to – Johnson. Clock's got to be wearing thin as Collier there you go. gets fouled. But that's such a beautiful release valve for SC, right? The ball moves yes. around. They can't find anything. They get it swung to Collier on the weak side. The defense is rotating. Shot clock's winding down. Perfect time for him to attack because at the very least, he's going to draw a foul like he did here. And they're already, they're already getting closer and closer to the bonus. Gonna be a sub coming in for SC. It's just such a luxury to have a guy like Isaiah Collier, like you mentioned, Mo. In those situations when the shot clock's wearing down, just you know to have that that option to make something happen with you know five or six seconds left on the shot clock. And that's something that they're gonna miss with Drew Peterson out, you know, in in, in Miami now on the two way. But you know, I think that was something that was Drew's job for a large part last season. And I think this is, I think Isaiah is going to be able to step right into that role you know drew peterson wasn't exactly all the way healthy at the end of last season and that might have contributed to an earlier exit than usual he played through it but wasn't quite himself that's luck to him in miami as collier misses both but there's an offensive rebound for morgan hornery To Yelovich for the tie. Plaschic, another offensive rebound. Just killing us on the boards, man. Yeah. And draws another foul. I mean, he has to have drawn eight to nine fouls by this point. Yesoglu. Was that blocked? Yeah, Kobe another, Johnson another, got a another, piece of it. Kobe's just all over the place defensively. Looks like a timeout going to be called here. 55-52, 15 to go in the fourth quarter. USC leading by three. A guy asked you go back to that Desmond Farmer game. Look, I know UCLA is the big rival of USC. But in basketball, does a win over Arizona feel better than a win over UCLA considering Arizona's history, or is it still just any time you beat the Bruins, it's it's, it's UCLA. better than anything? It's UCLA. Anytime. Okay. At least for me. I mean, you know, it's okay. it's a ton of fun when we beat them. And, you know, <laughs> uh, I it's that experience you get to have in rivalry games. And it's listen, you see we're separated by like eight miles. You see, yeah. you see everybody all the time, and, and you run in the same circle sometimes and things like that. And I got a bunch of friends that are U UCLA guys, and it's just fun to kind of rub it in anytime SC beats them. <laughs> They're so close to each other distance-wise, but from an L.A. traffic perspective, I'll say this. like Sometimes we would stay in different hotels for the USC game and the UCLA game just to make sure yeah. we can get to the game on time. Right, right. That's that's always that that kind of experience with all of those things. But it's it's a fun rivalry. It's it's yeah. good times. Doesn't matter the sport, you know. Like I'll I'll oh I find out UCLA USC volleyball's going on. I'm all in, you know. And and, and so it's always kind of fun to have it. It's for the most part good natured. Uh, and you know, anytime <laughs> for we the get most to part. Beat them. And, and, and listen, it was a real special night. 
when Dez did that, especially against UCLA. <laughs> we go back to work here. Topic pull up jumper, no. Just rebound, Kobe Johnson. Joshua Morgan to Kobe. Driving and dishing. Oh. Fender slips. Lucky to not turn it over, though. <laughs> very lucky on that one. Got very lucky there. But, hey, we got a fun game here, Kevin. Three-point game, yeah. under seven minutes left. Like, this is going to be an exciting end again. Uh, it really is. Well, Three-point game last time out. Nice, nice pass. pass to Hornery. Oh, but blocked. You got to finish that. Got to find a way to finish that. Collier had 20 points and four assists on Wednesday. Jalovic. For Malavets. Timote Malavets. Good, good defense. Oh. Good rotation. Topic just push beat it, the buzzer. Arrington Page is running. Kobe Johnson's going to keep it. Good job. He didn't stop ball. That's, but that's because Page has run. If Page runs down the middle of the lane right there the way he did, that pulled the defender away from yep. Kobe Johnson because he was afraid of the lob. And that just made it created an easy layup. That's actually uh, – uh, I wrote an article for Bleacher Report a long time ago about cutting assists. That's a cut assist right there. Yeah, no, that, that was – I make up my well own terms, Kevin. Describe there. I, I like cut assist. I haven't thought of that before, but – uh, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start keeping that in the back of my mind as Collier gets ripped. I think he got Man. taken down there on the, uh, the when he drove in the middle of the lane. There, no, uh, yeah. no whistle on the takedown. <laughs> Get some subs in here. Let's. Uh, but this is what take I'm a look. There's about. that cut. Pulled, pulled the defender. Just just made the defender have hesitation, and and that yep. that created that driving lane for for Johnson. What was the the context of your art? Were you were you kind of singling in on a, on a on a player in particular who was really good at getting cut assists, or was it just kind of the concept overall? It was it was the concept overall, and you know it it, it, it kind of just showed you know it, it the opportunities that cutting kind of creates. Nice kick out from Boogie. Oh. oh, in and out. Get that. Oh, look hustle. at that hustle. Uh, Got to get back, though. Got to get back. And fouled on the rebound. Plopsic again. That's one of the things when you dive on the floor, like you got to get that ball. If you don't, now it's an odd man advantage the other way. And, and just very simply, SC didn't have the bodies right there to compete on the offensive glass in transition. And now Popovich is going to the line again. How much, how often do you think players dive on the floor more to get an attaboy from the coach, knowing they're probably not going to get the ball, but then it would create a situation like that? So you're defining fake hustle. I think that's a, <laughs> uh, um, I, I, I don't think that happens as often as you think. I'm not going to say it doesn't, but I don't think okay. it happens as often as you think. And I'm not saying Arrington Page engaged in fake hustle there. It looked no, like he, he had a real he, shot at the ball. He legitimately dove for the ball on that one. I yeah. understood what you're – but you are just asking an overall concept. Yeah. Yeah. And how dare you accuse any Trojans. No Trojan has ever <laughs> committed fake hustle. Not <laughs> Definitely once. not. How All dare I. hustle is legit. <laughs> <laughs> now, if we were talking about UCLA, then that would be different, right? That's all they do. That's all. <laughs> Joshua Morgan missing the first free throw. Former Long Beach Stater. I think when he was there, they were called the 49ers. Now they're called the Beach. I think they made that change the last couple of years. Splits the pair. Whistle against SC. Hey, 
Elia Soglu. Back to Topic. Topic to the hoop. Good drive. It's it up, no? a good drive, though. Yeah. Push it, push it, nice. push it. Boogie Ellis for three. That, you got to close hard on him. That's what he's going to do right there. You got to close hard on him in that instance. Largest lead of the second half for the Trojans. Big, they were down big, seven. Great sort of about midway through the third quarter to now, their energy level has been pretty solid. The effort, the competing, that's that's the stuff you want to see, especially in these early games as you're trying to kind of figure out what your team is. About 350 to go. Zaya Seller, strong take. It, this is Ellis going to be a, it on the sideline. It's going to be a very nerdy point here. And Let's it hear it. seems like I'm nitpicking. Boogie needs to catch that one step closer to the corner. No, you're that's exactly a, right. That's a clean three. He needs to be all the way down in the corner yep. on that baseline drive. It's the baseline drive, baseline drift concept. Drift. Boogie was just a little bit too high on that by like one step. He gets yep. a clean, no. wide open look if he's all the way in the corner. Great call, Mo. Topic hits the corner three. We got a five point game. He'll pitch a couple of threes in this one. DJ spinning. Good move, it's, reversing it up and in. That's a just as using your body, your shoulders, and, and how wide he is from the shoulders, just bullying his way into it. That was a big bucket right there for SC. Oh, Topic, nice pass. Good look inside. Malavitz. Back out, Malavets a three. Rebound put back short by Yelovich. Rodman gonna set up Kobe Johnson for a Love 10 that. point lead. Love that. Good job from Kobe continuing to run after kicking that up to, to Rodman too, right? Rodman attacks the paint right there, turns around, drops it off right to Kobe for that three. That's a, that's a nice action right there. Whew. And he's feeling it. Ten point lead here for USC, and you've touched on it, Mo. Just everything looks crisper here from about the middle point of the third quarter on for the Trojans. Yeah, I mean, I think just their it was interesting. Their energy level kind of just perked up out of the new the blue. They got two threes, one from Ellis, one from uh, Page in the corner. I think they, they started to kind of find their rhythm and, and sort of the energy they played with to start the game. This is what they brought from that point on since, and they've really kind of taken control here a little bit of this game. 2.35 to go. Still time for Mega Meese, but USC has certainly been the stronger side over the last 10 minutes or so of a game action. They got one more game on this trip. They'll be in Dubrovnik, Croatia, to take on KKSC Derby. It's a professional team from Montenegro. Plays in the same league as Mega Mies in the Adriatic League. That game will be Sunday at 9 a.m. Pacific, noon Eastern, on NBA TV and the NBA app. But what do you want to see from USC to close this thing out, Mr. DeKeel? I don't want to see them let them back into this game. I don't want to see them run kind of a delay offense at this point. Keep playing with the pace you're playing with. Don't let up defensively and continue to push. I think their offense is at their best when they're playing with more pace, and I think that's an important thing to keep an eye on. There's Uros Plavšić. See if USC can string another stop or two together. Malavet's baseline drive and jam. Nice, nice pass to the corner right there, and that's what opened up that drive for Malovich. We got an eight-point game. Ellis. He's got the big on him. Rocks into a three. Morgan, the offensive rebound. Right, Kill another 14. Looking inside for Josh. Puts nice, it up. Count nice it. action. 
Nice work right there. Take advantage, they switch, go in, immediately goes up with it. Nice work right there from SC. That gives them a 10-point lead again. A chance to bump it up to 11. Morgan scored 14 in the NCAA tournament against Michigan State. Their leading scorer for the Trojans as he completes a three-point play. Topic. 2024 draft eligible. No, but the tap follow there for Yelovich. Topic is going to be a very interesting draft prospect to watch through the course of the yeah. season and, and sort of how he kind of ranks against, you know, everybody else, college players, G League Ignite guys, and, and so on. But he's going to be a, very, it's a prospect for everybody to keep their, their eye on. Yeah, no, I'm very intrigued. He turned 18 yesterday. So uh, 2024, again, draft eligible potential. This is a guy who in the uh, U20, U18 Euro A division, the, the championships this year. He was the MVP for, for Serbia as they won gold. So if you do that, if you if you score 49 in an Adidas Next Generation tournament game, uh, this guy's got the credentials to be someone. He's not showing up on the draft boards I've seen right now, but I think certainly a, a name to consider going forward. And, and as we talk about draft pro – oh, go ahead, Mo. Well, he just looks so comfortable coming off screens. Yeah. And I think that's the important thing, whether it's whipping passes to the corner, attacking or whatnot, or keeping his defender on his back. Like, he just looks comfortable, doesn't look sped up in that. Yeah. And I was going to say, from a draft perspective from USC, right now, if you were an NBA GM, where would you feel comfortable taking Isaiah Collier? I mean, I, I think right now he's still a bit of a – he's a top five prospect. I think, you know, if he can show – flat his shooting ability and really kind of can improve on that aspect i think he climbs up the boards even even higher than than top five maybe moves into the top three i think that's something but you know there's a lot of talent there you could see already with his ability to attack and, and operate in a pick and roll his court vision i think that's the stuff that you want to kind of keep an eye on with that but it, it's going to come down to his ability to shoot you got a turnover here on USC. So the door held slightly ajar for Megan Meese. This is, I mean, it's. I know it's a minute 24 left, nine-point game. This is a big possession here defensively for USC. Yeah. Topic gets to the hoop, draws a foul. I mean, he's going to the line. This is what I'm talking about. Going to the line, he's able to roll the ball all the way up the court. Only four seconds run off the clock. This is the complacency I don't want to see. This is the stuff that would worry me about USC, about any team at end of games when they have a lead. I know there's the worry of getting blown by, but in that last scenario, would you have rather seen someone force, you know, pick him up full court to force him to pick that up sooner? Yeah, I mean, I just think even if it's just a moment of just, hey, I just want you to just make sure you're dribbling to start the clock. And I think we, I think this is something that happens in the NBA too. I think teams are are letting these guys kind of just roll the ball up. And look what happened on that instance. I mean, he did it, got to the line by just immediately attacking. It's a seven-point game now, and there's still a minute 20, a lot of time. You need to use the clock right now as your def as, a, as your sixth defender. Get it across half. Collier. And it knocked away. Topic got a hand on it. Can't be too much. What, possession started at 120, so seven to shoot, I think. Yeah. And this is the stuff I was afraid of, right? This is what I didn't want to yeah. see, was them slow down the pace here in the last few minutes. I wanted them to kind of play their game, at least offensively, and now we're, we're up against the shot clock. Seven point game. We got to try to get a good look here. Collier flips it up. Oh, just drops Big off. Rebound. There's Kobe Johnson. Huge rebound right there from Kobe. Rodman caught it on the baseline. Yeah. Oh. I, I'd almost at that point, if you're not going up immediately, back out. 
Ilya Soglu looking inside, and it's taken away. Boogie Ellis the steal. Big stop there. I think that, that, that puts us in a pretty good spot here, Kevin. Yep. Looking good. Make your free throws now, fellas. Time to go home for Croatia. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. One final stop on this 10 day tour of Europe. Mykonos and Dubrovnik. Not a bad way to spend a week and a half in August. Uh, Boogie will step to the stripe. It's the first. Oh, well, free throws good. Makes it 71 to 62. As we play out the final 33.5. Topic. Three's up and off target. Gardner the rebound. That should do it. Yeah, just let's let's just dribble it out here. Let's just dribble it out. Yep. Good work here. Good showing from SC. So a three-point win on Wednesday and a nine-point win here on Friday in Mykonos over Mega Meese, taking the first game 76-73 and winning this one 71-62. And Kevin Dan and Mo DeKeel with you here. We will say goodbye to our NBA TV audience. Still live on the NBA app. We'll get you some highlights. But Mo, USC was down seven midway through the third quarter, 45 to 38. 